We're here with David Young, guy from the LULAC Political Letter. Now, we just got over one primary election, and now you're back talking about another primary election for next year. Yes, isn't that incredible? Sure. What's happening is the state representative has decided that he wants to introduce legislation to see if the Pennsylvania primary, which is held in the presidential year in April, to be pushed back to um, February or March. And they want to try to do that to compete with the other early primary states. So Representative Grenier, he was the one that did this? Yeah, he's basically uh, putting this legislation forward. And you're probably wondering if the legislation is going to go anywhere. Well, sure. Well, you know, I had an uncle who used to say that when you knew the world was going to end on a Sunday, what you wanted to do was go down to Harrisburg mm. and you could probably get like another two years out of it, oh you know, goodness. mainly because Harrisburg, uh, basically, uh, when they put legislation forward, it moves at such a glacial pace. I'm not sure that it ain't, it's going to go anywhere. All right. So if we move the primary ahead, then what does that do for our state? Well, what it does is it puts us in competition with the other presidential primary states throughout the country. Uh, primaries have been bunching up um, lately in the last couple of years. Uh, what it'll do is it'll increase name awareness for the state of Pennsylvania, make us more competitive if we have a lot of delegates to give out, and also increase, um, you know, uh, advertising revenue for TV and radio stations, as well as hotels and um, different, um, you know, spending expenditures mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, uh, businesses. So when was the last time Pennsylvania was a player in convention politics? The really, the last time, really, you have to go back to 1950 when Governor Fine swung delegates toward uh, the uh, candidacy of, of, of a future president, Dwight Eisenhower, who at the time was a general. So that was like the last time Pennsylvania was really a player. In 2008, uh, President uh, uh, Obama and Hillary Clinton had a good race, and that was kind of uh, uh, exciting. But, you know, it really, you have to go back a long time. Of course, I want to know what you think about it. Well, what I think about it, I just think you should just stay the way that it is because any time in politics you try to control events in politics the events control you we should just stay the way that it is and um, keep it the way that it is so where can we find you uh lulac political letter uh lulac political blog spot david yonkai google now, me we always ask about your tie but today i mean should i ask you why you're wearing it's just a very bland tie because i had the feeling you were going to wear black and i decided to wear black and to it kind of offset well this. it is pretty beautiful but you know what you know what it's called? It's called glazed grape donut color. That's no, it's basically not. what it's no it's not. I just made that up. <laughs> but it's National Donut Day. I it had is, a bunch And I love that you love long johns. Oh, long johns the best. And I could put up as to where to get them. I, I can't find them anymore as much. They're down in a little bakery down in Anacoke. A little I will I will bring a Anacoke. box next time for you. Oh no, don't. You know Are what? You sure? I'll eat the whole okay. box. Just forget it. Let's just talk about it, not actually All right, okay. eat a whole box. Sounds good. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. We are very looking forward to seeing you again. When will you be back? A couple weeks? Um, I guess so. I, All right. A couple of weeks. All right. David Young, Guy from the Lulac Political Letter. Thank you so much for being here on PA Live. Happy to be here. All right.